Lesson 12.1, Explore Solids. A polyhedron is what this whole chapter is about. It's a solid with polygonal sides. So it's a three-dimension polygon. The sides are flat, no curves. Has The sides are called faces, and they're in the shape of polygons. An edge is the line segment between the faces. So that's an edge, that's an edge. Vertex is one of the corners. So that's a vertex, that's a vertex, that's a vertex. A prism is a polyhedron with two congruent surfaces on parallel planes. The two ends, or bases, are the same. And we name a prism by the bases, like a rectangular prism, triangular prism, and so on. So for this one, it, the base would be the top and the bottom. And it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. So that means this is an octagon octagonal prism, octagonal prism. A cylinder would be a solid with a congruent circular basis on parallel planes. It's not a polyhedron because it has a curve, but a cylinder is like a prism, only it's a circle and not a polygon at the end. A pyramid is a polyhedron with all but one face intersecting in a point. That is the pyramid. All the faces, except for the base, intersect at that point there on top. Cone is a circular base with the other surface meeting at a point, so that would be this one. And the sphere is all the points a given distance from the center that is like a three-dimensional circle. Euler's theorem, I know it looks like Euler, but it's pronounced Euler. Euler's theorem, the number of faces, vertices, and edges of a polyhedron are related by faces plus vertices equals edges plus two. Convex. Any two points can be connected by a segment completely inside the polyhedron. Like on there, if I pick uh, two points, say that one and that one and one down here, that's all inside. Uh, concave is not convex, it has a cave. See here, that's an indentation. If we connect two points there, right there to right there those two points the connection is not inside this concave it has an indentation it has a cave convex is not concave so here we go tell whether the solid is a polyhedron if it is name the polyhedron and find the number of faces vertices and edges and de describe whether it's convex or concave so a lot of questions there so first of all is it a polyhedron? Why, yes, it is. All the sides are flat. Uh, how many faces? Well, we have the bottom and then the front side, back, and that side. So it appears like there are five faces. Um, it is a square, it is a pyramid, and the base is a square. This is our base, so it's a square pyramid. Five faces, how many vertices? There's one, two, three, four, five vertices. And how many edges? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight edges. Hey, does that fit Euler's theorem? Faces plus vertices equals edges plus two. So I have um, five plus five, faces plus vertices equals edges plus two. Does that work? 10 equals 10? Yep, it does. Now is it convex or concave? Convex, you say? You're correct. There are no caves there. Let's try another. Is that a polyhedron? No, it's not. It has a curved face. Polyhedrons can't have any curves. Let's try another one. Is it a polyhedron? You're correct. Yes, it is a polyhedron. Now, how many, uh, what type is it? Well, we look and it has these two ends here. These two ends are exactly the same and parallel to each other. That would make it a prism. And their shape is triangular. So it's a triangular prism. All right, how many faces? There's the front, the back, the side, the bottom, and the top slanted. So it looks like five faces. How many vertices? There's one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. How many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine edges. Does that fit Euler's theorem? Faces plus vertices equals edges plus two. So that's 11 equals 11. So hey, it works. And is it convex or concave? That's right, convex. There are no caves. A regular polyhedron is one with regular congruent polygonal faces. It means all the edges are the same length, all the angles are congruent. There are only five types of regular polyhedrons. We call these after the platonic solids after Plato, who rather liked them in his philosophy. The first one's a tetrahedron, which is four faces, and they're all triangular pyramids. And then a hexahedron has six faces. We know it as a cube. And then an octahedron has eight faces. They're like two square pyramids put together, all triangle. Then a dodecahedron has 12 faces, and this one's different. It's made out of pentagons. An icosahedron. An icosahedron has 20 faces made out of triangles. And that's all the regular polyhedrons there are. Find the number of faces, vertices, and edges of this regular dodecahedron. Check it with Euler's theorem. Well, let's start with faces. I've got the front, each of these sides. And then we have the next layer back that we can kind of see. So this is like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And the far back makes 12. Oh, wait, it was a dodecahedron, which means 12 sided. So, yes, there are 12 faces. All right, let's erase the faces. And then let's check for vertices. So, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I get 20 vertices. All right, let's try edges. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I got 30 edges. So let's see, does that work with Euler's theorem? Faces plus vertices equals edges plus 2. So plug in the 12 faces, 20 vertices, and 30 edges, and you get this. So on the left, it is 32. On the right, it's 32. Yes, it works. It checks. Yay! Cross-section. Imagine slicing a very thin slice of the solid. The cross-section is the 2D shape of the thin slice. If you look over on the picture, you see the plane cutting through the pyramid. The cross section is just this part right there where they intersect. It is the shape of that intersection. So it is a triangle in that picture. It's just the two-dimensional shape where they intersect. So describe the cross section. Well, let's see. It looks like it's there, there, there. Looks like a triangle to me. Remember, it's the two-dimensional shape, not the piece that gets cut off. It's just where the plane intersects the, the polyhedron. All right, for here, cross-section would be right there. Looks like a circle. How about this one? That's the cross section appears to be a hexagon. Have a good day.